What's poppin' my J dolls? And I am back with another video. You guys, before I get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell. Y'all, ooh, my lashes. We on, what the fuck? Hmm. Okay, y'all, <laughs> my lashes. But we on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so don't play with us, y'all. We almost there, y'all, so make sure if you're not subscribed, you do that right now, bitch. Don't play with me, play with your mama hoe, okay? Anyways, y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a vlog. I'm in L.A., y'all. I randomly booked this trip, like, three days ago, and I'm here in L.A. I, it's a business trip, so I'm going to do, like, an entrepreneur vlog um, in L.A., so... Today, I'm not going to be doing anything business-wise because it's already freaking 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm running late and I didn't get here. I got here at 12 o'clock. So, I had to get a rental car. <sighs> you know, I had to get to security. That's a whole lot, a whole lot of... That's a whole lot, a whole lot of stuff I can chit-chat about when I get back. But my stomach has been on 10,000 all fucking day because I ate Chipotle yesterday. My stomach fucking hurts. I need to eat because I haven't ate since this morning. And it's 3 o'clock here. And in Minnesota, it's like 5 o'clock. So I didn't eat ever since the morning in Minnesota. So that's like 8 hours. So I need to eat something. So anyways, y'all. I'm going to show y'all my outfit for today. And this little mirror that I have in the room. So here's my little outfits. Y'all probably already seen this on my Fashion Nova haul for Miami. So yeah, y'all, I'm wearing this. My suitcase is on the floor. So ghetto. But y'all, I had to hurry up and just throw my stuff around here. And then here is the bed. Y'all, nothing special about this hotel. It's not really up to my standard. But <laughs> it, if it's cheapest for me, this is the Hilton LAX. So it's close to the airport. And honestly, in LA, by the airport, it's like the best place to stay. And then this is the bathroom here. So y'all, in LA, the, by the airport is the best place to stay. So if you've never been to LA, just don't stay downtown LA or Hollywood, y'all. Because it's really um, turned into kind of like a tent area. So there's a lot of homeless uh, people there, unfortunately. And they have a lot of tents there. And there's a lot of drug addicts, a lot of prostitutes and stuff like that. So I prefer to stay by the airport. Uh, and it's just quick when I get off the airplane. So anyways, y'all. I think all this children chattering y'all see my outfit I'm about to go first to Ross because my suitcase broke let me show y'all this actually while I'm sitting down I need to go get a snack y'all first on the road on the way but anyways y'all look at this they broke even more y'all the handle had broke off so this other part was poking out the handle broke off and they bent the shit so it's over for this suitcase so I'm trying to go get a new suitcase right now because I need it for the fashion district, which I'll tell you guys more about in the morning. Because I'm going to the fashion district tomorrow to get some lingerie for my business. So anyways, y'all. So boom. What I'm about to do right now, I'm about to go get a little snacky snack. Let me put y'all. I'm going to get a little snacky snack. I'm going to get to my rental car. And I'm going to go to Ross or some TJ Maxx, whatever's around here, to get a suitcase. And then I need to go get some real food. And that's, I hate how this, why this bitch don't be focusing? And that's on period poo. Like, why y'all, why this camera be, this camera be having fuzzy moments and I don't know how to fix it. Comment down below for how I can get this camera to focus better. Having it close up, whatever bitches. So y'all, go get a snack. Go get in the rental car. Go ahead and get me a suitcase. Go ahead and give me a suitcase. Go ahead and give me some food. Period, poo. I don't know why I'm going to do after that, but period, poo. Oh, y'all, I'm trying to decide if I should bring my big-ass bag just so I can bring my camera. I feel like I should because this other bag is getting very... This other bag is getting just very stuffed, and I want to wear my sunglasses. Y'all want to see me in my Gucci glasses? First of all, they peeling, bitch. Let me put you here. They peeling, so... They not giving what they used to give. But I think I'm going to just bring my big old MCM bag. Y'all got a review on this on my channel if you want to have a review or bag review. But anyway, y'all, let me just take all my crap out of here. I got Hector Man's and stuff. I'm going to keep my pet, pet no bismo because y'all, I had to buy the chewables. Because 
Babe, my stomach is not, it's just not agreeing with me right now. I don't want to bring my beads. I just want to bring all this shit. Y'all like, keep them on. Keep, stay scrapped. Stay scrapped, you heard? All right, y'all, so, mm. Chubby girls, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Okay? So, anyways, y'all, that's about it. Everything else can probably stay in here. And then this is actually the pouch. I might just leave the pouch as it is. Just so that... Because I need to bring just my pouch to the... What you call it? Tomorrow. To the fashion district. And then here's my sunglasses, y'all. I'm going to just throw these on. Right now. Because the sun is still out. And I'm put these in here. Yeah, these are my Gucci glasses. This is how they look on the side. Ooh, baby. These are old, y'all. I had these for like three years, two years now. I'm freaking out. Look at that pillow, though. <laughs> that bitch got us. A... <laughs> I can't even see y'all, but am I giving bad bitch? Or I'm giving, like, you should just keep your glasses on. And my makeup. Ooh, I'm giving bad bitch, though. Do y'all think I'm giving bad bitch? Let me go look in the mirror. And then I can bring this and put this in my purse. I can put everything in this big ass purse. I feel like a scavenger because why the fuck are you bringing this big ass purse? I might go ahead and put my jacket in there too because I think it's going to get cold later on. So I'm going to just bring this big old tote. But I don't want people to think I'm big body bands. Big body bands. Remember I used to be crusty. I'm confused. Oh, my jacket. Y'all. <laughs> I tell y'all, I don't remember shit. Um, I just got off the phone with my man, you know. Got to check in with my man. I'm mad that it's later over there where he lives than when I'm at home because I just wanted to do something. A little something I can't talk about on camera. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to bring my little jean jacket, which I'm wearing this several times. So, play with your mama hoe, not me. I think these sunglasses going to fuck up my makeup, though. Let me see if it's worth the fuck up. Hmm. I don't know if they worth it because the fucking peeling. It's the peeling that's killing me. It looks like my shit is dirty, but it's just peeling. No sunglasses? What sun? I think no sunglasses. What y'all think? I think no sunglasses because these bitches is peeling. Maybe when I wear my black dress. Because I feel like I'm doing the most right now. No sunglasses. Like, I don't know why, but it's, they're pissing me off. The glasses is pissing me off. I think with my black dress, these glasses would have better. Right now, I'm just going to have regular glasses on. <sighs> I'll see y'all when I get to Ross, TJ Maxx, wherever the fuck I'm going. Her. I just made it to TJ Maxx. I'm going to show y'all. It's a big TJ Maxx. So I'm just going in here and get a suitcase, and I'm out this bitch because I'm hungry as yes, shit. Hopefully, we find a suitcase because, baby. Also, y'all. So y'all, I got CJ Maxx right there. Look how big it is. There's also a Ross down here. So I'll probably go to this Ross if I can't find a suitcase here. By the way, I, I, I forgot that these keys are just like, I hate a car that got keys. I'm sorry, call me bougie, call me whatever. But why is this not a push button to start when I spent almost three some, almost $400, okay? Unacceptable, but whatever. It's a nice car, so as long as I got my... Google Play, I mean, not Google Play, my Apple Play, I'm good, okay, y'all? Like, I can get my maps, my music. This is what I live by. Like, no, if you don't got this, I'm not getting that car. Period, I'm not getting in that car. But I'm going to see y'all when I get inside, though. I'll see y'all when I get inside. All right, you guys, I made it in TJ Maxx, and the pop suitcase is already $99. This one. 99. Oh my god. So this is the only one comparable size that I would like. But I like colorful, but that's a little too much. And I don't like the it brand. It's not a good one. This one is a hundred. It looks sleek and pink. I like it. I don't I think this other one is bigger though. Oh yeah. 
This one's bigger, and I usually be big because I pack a lot of stuff. These two biggest ones here. Hmm. I don't know. This feather one is kind of ugly though. This one's cute. I gotta figure out if I wanna settle. Oh. This is uh -uh. It's not giving. But a hundred dollars is ridiculous. But this is what happens when your suitcase breaks. I like this one. This one's really cute. But I feel like other people at the airport would have this. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just get this and call it a day. I hope I can fit my stuff. Maybe I should get one of those. Hold on one second, let me see. Maybe I should get a bag like this. Maybe I should get a duffel bag like this. How much is this? Oh, hell no. Fifty dollars No, baby. I don't need a duffel bag that bad. I put on nine wicks, but... This would've been nice if I overpack. But if I overpack, I'll just use my broken one. I don't think this is big enough. For what I like to carry. My suitcase is way bigger than this. But it has the little shoe pouches, which I like. Mm, do I settle or do I just look for another store? Is the real question. This one is so hideous, but it's so much bigger. I have to go with it because I'd rather pay that than to pay the same price for a smaller one. So, yeah, I'm going to get this hideous suitcase and just live with it for the rest of my life until it's time to buy a new one. Because there's no other options. I don't want to spend all day looking for a suitcase. Like, nah. So I'm going to just take this one. Pay a hundred fucking dollars for a suitcase. And I could use that for something else. But, you know, it's life. Yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to a restaurant I decide on. Um, and show y'all where I'm going and what I'm eating. See you guys at the next place. Alright, you guys. So I made it to the restaurant that I'm going to and it's called Alta. I'll show you guys the building and everything. Um, and it's kind of like a soul food, like American mix type food. I don't know, we'll see. It looked good online and let me show you guys the neighborhood. So this is how like, the neighborhood looks and everything. And then here is the restaurant right here. I didn't know it's black owned, so I'll let you guys know how it is and you can check it out. But it's a nice thing. So I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit for my reservation to go eat. I don't know what to do after this. Like, I really probably didn't call it a day. And just chill at the hotel because I'm tired as well. It's been a long journey. I did do the outside area. Hopefully I can get the outside area. It's starting to get a little bit. The sun is going down a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, it's the cactus for me. It's the cactus for me. Very cool. By the way, they was gonna pay uh, charge me ten dollars to valet my car right here, which I could just pull it up here for free. I'm glad I had no money, <laughs> no cash. <sighs> Time. But it smells good in there, y'all. I wonder the food look good because it's black. Oh, period. Ooh, okay. Because <sighs> I wanted something that's kind of like soul food, but I didn't want to go to the hood today because I wanted to sit down in a restaurant. So I was like, I'm just go to the hood. I'm going to want to take it home. And so, this shall do. We'll see what it's heading for. Alright y'all, it's the next day. Yesterday I forgot to record my food, but I'm gonna just put some Snapchats of my food in the actual vlog. I call it today because I was on FaceTime with my cousin. So yeah, so right now I just got ready, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the outfit of the day. So this is the shirt. I look so cute in this mirror. And these are the jeans. I'm going to show y'all full body in the other mirror. Let's see. 
So y'all, this is full body. I don't, these shoes don't really match this outfit. These are my Yeezys. They don't really match it. But these are the only sneakers that I brought. And I'm about to be going to the fashion district. So y'all, today is the real reason I came to LA. I'm about to go to the fashion district to buy some new products for my lingerie line. I'm not going to say too much yet until I'm ready to put out that information. But I'm about to go ahead and head get some breakfast. This time I actually want to remember to record, okay? Get some breakfast and then head to the fashion district. I'm going to show y'all the fashion district. I can do a sit down video when I get back of like how you can come to the fashion district, how it works, um, how to buy wholesale prices, whatever. So you guys can get the tea. But yeah, y'all need to eat. I'm starving. And I'll see you guys when I get to the restaurant. Alright you guys, so I found a place to eat and it's called an Eat This Cafe. It's like 41 minutes away and it's only 12 miles. That's California for you. But let me show you guys like the little entryway of the hotel so you guys can see. So here are the little chandeliers and it goes up to the stairs. You guys are at the Hilton LAX. Oh yeah, this chandelier is nice too. I think they're having some type of ball or dance competition so this is how it looks there's a bar here there's a little starbucks cafe over here and then there is a food place here but i kind of want to switch it up and go somewhere different to eat because i've ate there before and here it's like a little lobby area and we have a little area here to take pictures i need to get a picture here but i gotta get somebody to take the picture Escalators. This is like the best area. And this just shows the type of food that they have here. And then here's a little gift shop. But yeah, y'all, so I'm about to drive 41 minutes, which I think is close to the fashion district anyways. And get food and then go to the fashion district. So I'll see you guys when I get food and then when I head to the fashion district. All right guys, I'm literally stuck in traffic. Now I understand how people vlog in fucking California while they're driving because you're literally not going anywhere. Like, yeah, so this is a 40 minute drive. I'm gonna show y'all like the scenery and hopefully no ops is over here, no popo. But yeah, this is the scenery. The traffic's not that big, right? Bad right here. Like, I don't even know what part of LA I'm in. But anyways, y'all, I'm 17 minutes away. I gotta get in the next lane, so you gotta get it cracking. I'm gonna get over, cause that's what I do. You know, that's what I do. That's what I do. Hurry up, boop. All right. So yeah, y'all, this is kind of the scenery. I, what I love about California, y'all, is it's very green like it's a lot of green nice trees palm trees and everything i just love it i love also look at this bitch okay anyway y'all i love how modern their like houses apartments are i love square houses and square apartments i don't know why but anyway ain't much to see over here so i'll see y'all when we get to the restaurant Yeah. Can I come out in your vlog? Yes. <laughs> can we? Can, 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 can we? I'm famous. Can, 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 can I'm famous. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I look famous. What's up, gang? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, uh, what's your we name? We out here. Joanna. We with Joanna. Yes. yes. My channel's called It's a Joanna thing. It's, it's Joanna. Joanna thing. It's a Joanna thing. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't get it twisted. It's a Joanna thing for real, for real. See you guys. Have a good day. Guys, so this is where I'm about to eat at, and it looks kind of busy in here. So the food is really good. I found a parking spot. Thank goodness. Okay, y'all. So I'm at the restaurant. I'm probably get copyrighted because I don't know if this music is copyrighted or not. But their menu is online, so I'll pull up their menu and see what I want to get. By the way, the guys that I'm putting my video, they asked me if I was famous, and I said I was famous. <laughs> you gotta speak it into existence, okay? 
All right, y'all. So, I just finished eating. It's like 12.34. I'm way behind schedule. I'm gonna have to go ahead and hit the fashion district. I'm gonna show you guys um, different parts of the fashion district. I'm not gonna show you guys the specific st stores that I shop at, because obviously, I don't want people to have the same things as me. <laughs> you know, but I'm gonna show you guys like the district, how it looks, and I'll tell you guys when I get back to the hotel. I'll tell you guys how to shop the district and stuff like that if you have your own business. But anyway, y'all. So the food was good. It was very healthy. I got like a vegetarian meal, and it was very filling because it had avocado, it had black beans, it had eggs, and then it had like um, vegan, like vegetarian meat or whatever. So yeah, y'all. So I got like half of the burrito left and some of the potatoes left because I'm really starting to listen to my body because my stomach is starting to act like I already, I had fucking by uh, the sleeve surgery or something already because <laughs> I feel stuffed and I couldn't eat anymore. So I'm going to try to find a homeless person because I really don't find any reason why I should just be taking food home because I'm not going to eat it. And when I'm out of time, I'm going to eat out three times a day or two times a day, how many times I eat. So it's like come on now I might as well just get this homeless person they got egg in it so I hope I find a homeless person on my way there if not it might be a done deal because I wouldn't even want a homeless person to eat that after it's been sitting in the sun because it's really hot now it's really sunny so anyways y'all I'll see you guys when I get to the fashion district okay my bitches okay guys so I'm down at the fashion district I found a little garage area to park my car because the last, I don't have cash, so it's like, I can't park at these other things. But anyway, y'all, is what the fashion district looks like. So there's a bunch of stores that you can buy wholesale. You can even also buy um, as a customer, but obviously won't be as cheap. All right, you guys, so this is more of the fashion district. I thought maybe I should like actually drive and show you guys because where I was at, it's not like that much stuff. Someone's backing up traffic anyways. So, y'all about, I'm looking crazy. Let me show y'all. Let me see it. Y'all, I'm looking fucking crazy. My hair is like really just fucking sweated out because it was hot as hell in the, um, in the store that I was in buying from. I bought all my stuff from one vendor and I'm not going to expose that vendor because I love her and that's the only vendor I'm going to use and yeah i don't see a lot of people with her stuff so i fuck with her so yeah anyways finally this person decided to go around dang this is la for you like how you gonna stop right in the middle of the road but it is what it is it is what it is now y'all my fat ass about to go get me some ice cream i'm gonna go some ice cream now i done sweat in my hair i might as well go get some ice cream let me make sure what in the hell is these people doing okay yeah i'll be back like right? because i'm about to get in the car accident because these stupid motherfucking poodles all right i'm about to go get some ice cream i'll hit y'all up when i i'll hit y'all up when i go get my damn ice cream turn left on the san pedro street okay you guys it's super dark oh now you can see me but i think i'm in the japanese village and kind of how it looks over here. Really cute. Uh, and I'm actually going to go... This is nice. Uh, I'm going to go to this ice cream shop because I've seen it online. And it looks like it should be good. So we'll try it out and see how it is. Here's her cup. This is like the menu. So I'll show you guys when I actually get my ice cream. 
Okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm really about trying new things today, so I'm gonna try this cinnamon toast crunchy fruity pebble. Sounds kind of nasty, but it looks pretty good, and I love fruity pebbles right now. I'm like really obsessed with that, enough. but it's so cute that this place is called Bay. So I really think I'm gonna try. This is called Pegasus. Pegasus. It doesn't look like it has cinnamon toast crunch in it, but we'll try it. I also like this charcoal pineapple vanilla. That sounds kind of good. This is, this is so cute, guys. Okay. Hey guys, it is so cute in here. Look, they have like little small couches and tables with cement seats. And look at this sign. Oh, with love from Bay. <laughs> this is a vibe. And look at my ice cream. Yeah, I gotta get an Instagram photo like this. I might be a thumbnail. Thumbnail! Look at this. This ice cream is pineapple. I end up getting the pineapple vanilla. And it looks charcoal. So I'm gonna try it out. Okay guys, I made it to a dinner restaurant that I'm going to be at. I'm not going to talk much because it's music here, so I'm just going to put the scenery in and put uh, a sound over the clip because I know I'll get copyrighted for this music, so I'm going to show you guys how it looks. This was the Mag Daddy Frozen drink. It's good. Super strong. But it has a flower on top. It's so cute. So this is my dinner. Alright y'all. I got this Ella Cake Girl drink. It's a vanilla ice cream. Um, this one kind of tastes like cucumbers. With wine. With hella alcohol. This is my second drink. And I'm definitely feeling it. Alright guys. So I'm going to drink three. I'm feeling it. And I'm about to go after this, but this one, I forgot what it was called. Let me see what it's called. The Mango Unchained. So if you guys come here, the Mango Unchained is actually really good. And I don't really like, like, this type of seasoning, but it tastes really good. Really, really good. Okay, y'all, let me stop before I get copyrighted. Alright, you guys, so this is my last day in L.A., so... I'm about to go to Santa Monica. I really love Santa Monica because I want to go to the beach. I'm going to go have brunch first and then I'm going to go to the beach. Then I'm going to go to the beach. And I want some tacos over there. So I'm going to have tacos for lunch. And then I'm going to go to this Tupac Museum. Today is no business. I got everything I needed, guys. I'm actually just going to relax today. And today is my last day. And I'm going to my plane tomorrow. Anyways, y'all, this right here is the fit for today y'all i'm legally blind because these sunglasses oh i don't want y'all to see my stuff over here so y'all here's the outfit for today i got this outfit from fashion over a hot minute ago and then i'm just wearing my gucci sunglasses okay period poo period poo um so y'all i'm about to go ahead and head out drive to santa monica um eat in santa monica go to the little beach Probably not gonna lay in the sand and all that because I don't I don't know. Or should I bring a towel? I should bring a towel. But these ain't beach towels. So they kind of small. I'm probably not gonna lay in the sand. I might just go to the ocean, go stand and look and stuff and then go about my business. Cause I don't got that much time anyway. I need to eat, go to the beach, probably get some tacos before I head to the Tupac uh Shakur museum y'all i gotta get there by four o'clock so baby it takes an hour so I, like i have to be out of santa monica by three o'clock because i always give myself an hour to get to places because california the traffic ain't no hoe okay y'all but i'm gonna go i gotta go i'm late i'll see y'all when i get to the restaurant all right guys i made it to santa monica i can't see anything because my shades are so dark i can't even see the screen but 
I know you guys see me. So anyways, made this Santa Monica. I'm gonna go to this restaurant called The Independent. Um, it's like has brunch and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys the area when I get closer. I got a really good parking ramp. So that's cool. This restaurant. Alright guys, so I got a drink. It's too early to be drinking, but I'm still drinking. This is a basket. Uh, some type of basket drink. With rum. And it's really good. And then I got the chicken and waffles. I'll show you guys when it comes out. Alright you guys, this is the chicken and waffles. I'm sorry not to be the onions and stuff like that. And then I also got a side of bacon. Yeah, it's insane how I can't see anything with these sunglasses on, but I'm gonna make it work. Um, let me check. Anyways, y'all, I can't see shit with these glasses on. But anyways, I made it to Santa Monica Pier. I've been here like a million times. But I just wanted to come see the beach before I leave. Um, and like an hour I gotta leave to go to the um, Tupac Museum and it's gonna take me like 40 minutes to get there probably by then it might take an hour i can't be late so i'm probably only gonna be here for a little short time just go by the water and then go by my way so i'm gonna just show y'all how it looks over here so i can zoom in but there's the pier area over there y'all probably seen this in my last LA vlog there's the water and stuff I feel like this vlog is a lot better than the last vlog, honestly, because I've been getting a lot of content. But anyways, y'all, so this is what the pier is heading for. I'm gonna go to the pier and hope that there's some ice cream. I don't really like that. I don't like to get ice cream like on the actual pier. I like to maybe get some from the small businesses here because it's a lot of pigeons usually over by the pier and I don't want to deal with any pigeons. Like the birds are crazy over here. Mm -hmm. They'll steal your food and all that type of stuff and shit on stuff. So I just prefer to go hopefully to the little small businesses and get some type of ice cream there because it's my thing now to get ice cream every, time. every day apparently. So I'm just going to walk and go get some ice cream and look at the beach for a little hot second and then hit the road because it just takes forever to get everywhere in LA. So definitely have to get going so i'll see you guys when i figure out if i'm gonna get ice cream or when i get to the beach area so you guys can see the beach area and then i don't think i'm gonna be able to film in the tupac museum because i'm guessing they're not gonna allow cameras in there i didn't even think about it and i'm probably have to leave my camera in the car so maybe i'll get some footage on my phone so you guys can see I think this museum is only here till August or something like that. So I definitely want to go because I, I fuck with Tupac. I like Tupac. I'm not going down there today because usually this gate used to be open, but it's always closed nowadays. I'm not going all the way around under the tunnel and all that just to go down there. Obviously, get some ice cream and start heading. To the freaking Tupac Museum. 